Hallelujah. All of you who have been watching me, who have been looking at my videos, you've seen me out ministering, you've talked to me at NNU, the Northwest Nazarene University. This is a message for you. If you don't stand beside me, get behind me. If you're going to sit in the benches, you need to get out of the game. The Bible says, 2 Timothy 2.19, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let every one who nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. If you reject repentance, if you reject that men depart from their sin, it's disgusting. I hate them with a perfect hatred. I can't stand the false lies that the church, so-called, has been pushing. There's this agenda right now got you scared. You can't say if it's okay to be gay. You can't say if being gay is a sin. You're scared to talk about sexual sin. You scared to talk about sin. How many theologians can you name off? You could probably name off all the anti-Nicene fathers. You can name off every bishop at the Council of Constantinople. But you don't want to hear one sin named out loud. You don't want to hear your sin called out loud. Because you're wicked. Because you're wicked and you love your sin. Keep Jesus' name out of your mouth. You shouldn't even be speaking on Jesus. I suggest, this is my suggestion for you, if you don't depart from your sin, if you don't depart from your wicked ways, this is my suggestion. I suggest you opt out of all of your theology classes because I don't want you writing essays and book reports on my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I don't want you up in front of people speaking on His name when you don't even want to lay on the foundation. You don't even have the seal of the foundation that you would depart from your iniquity. Scared to talk about skin. Cared, scared to talk about sin. You scared of my language? I've been criticized about my language in the Bible. I read a King James Bible. You know what? Whore, whoredoms, whoremongering, it's all a sin. And if you want to stand on the side of the whore, you want to stand on the side of the whoremonger, but you want to come against your brother in Christ, I've had these students here, you've come against me for handing out Bibles. You've come against me for talking to students one-on-one. -on -one. You've come against me for using a bullhorn. And by the way, I haven't used a bullhorn at this university for several months now. Because we only use that, the, 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 look, the only reason I use a bullhorn is so that I can be audible to be heard. And never once did I tell anybody that they have to use a bullhorn, that you have to go put Bibles in mailboxes, that you have to go do this and go do that. I've only said one thing, one thing, repent, repent or perish, repent or perish. Luke 13, 3, repent or perish. I say to you, nay, unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. And keep Jesus Christ's name out of your mouth if you don't want to repent. Keep Jesus' name off of your phone. I suggest you delete your Bible app. I suggest you opt out of all your Bible classes. I suggest that you drop out of this theology school right now and get right with Jesus Christ because the time is running short and I have no more time to be a nice guy, to give you a massage because I'm seeing far too many, far too many souls are being lost right now with this greasy grace sissified gospel and I got a bunch of Bible nerds you bunch of Bible nerds coming up to me with your theology I don't even want to hear it depart depart from me I don't even want to hear your theology I don't want to hear your explanations of the transubstantiation of hypostatic unions and trinities and this theologian and that theologian this council and that council give me a bible verse give me a bible verse i'm sick of hearing your little lukewarm cotton candy candy cane lollipop and gumdrops gospel you think jesus died on the cross 
so that you could go around telling people that he died on the cross? He died for your sins. He died for sins. And if you don't understand that, if you have a problem with me bringing up sin, it's not me you have a problem with. It's Jesus you have a problem with. You've got a problem with God. And you're going to have a big problem with God on the day of judgment. Every man will be judged according to his works. Romans 2 and 5. And 2 Timothy 2, 19. Depart from iniquity. Depart. That's it. Depart. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.